Hello everybody, uh, my name is Gar and I'm really excited to show you how to use pre-quilts coloring pages today. We have a quilt by Lorna and this quilt is called Flutter. And what Lorna's done is she's created a coloring page for her new um, quilt pattern. And so you can buy the pattern over here and you can learn more about uh, Lorna over here. Uh, we'll be spending most of our time on the video uh, learning how to change the colors uh, of her pattern. So let's say I want to change the Kona Rigo to a different color. I can just roll over on one of these swatches and you'll notice how uh, the quilt is automatically uh, updating. Okay, so let's change this to maybe like a, a little bit uh, darker pink. And I'm really happy with this uh, new color combination. And I'm just going to leave the colors as is and then try to, and now I'm going to download the image. Okay. So I'm going to download the, uh, the design and that's saved on my uh, computer. And I can save the uh, list of all the solids that I use. So now that I have these two, uh, the designs uh, saved, I could move on to continue to experiment with uh, other color combinations. And uh, another way to uh, change colors is to use the color randomization, which gives you um, surprising results. Um, and it's a really fun way to uh, test out different colors. Okay, I like the, I kind of like these uh, dark greens and I'm just going to lock them and continue to randomize so it only changes A now. Hmm. I kind of like uh, some kind of bright color. I think that'll it'll pop out maybe like a bright yellow uh, or a bright green. Uh, I'm going to go with the yellow. That's really interesting. Now I'm going to download the design and then download the colors. Okay. So I can continue to experiment uh, with different colors and then download the um, designs as JPEGs onto my computer. If I uh, upgrade to one of the paid accounts, I could then save this design uh, to my account and continue to work on it uh, later on. I could also import uh, printed fabrics. Uh, I could also create uh, multiple colorways uh, in the quilt, but I'll talk more about this and I'll show you how to use these advanced features uh, by signing in to my account. And first I'm going to clone this design because I want to save this design. Okay, so now the design is saved to my account. I'm just going to um, uh, update the thumbnail and uh, take us to the dashboard. So the dashboard is where all my quilts will be saved, okay? And this is the um, most recent uh, coloring page that I was just working on, okay? All right, so I wanna continue to uh, experiment with uh, different color combinations. Uh, I could either, uh, rather than cloning this entire quilt to my account, I could just clone the colorway over here and perhaps I'll make this into like, see how it would look like with uh, different blues. Now I could just go in here and then um, maybe like a greenish blue and then blue over here and then maybe like a white and then some like another Maybe that's a little too light. Okay. And so now that I have these two colorways, I can toggle them back and forth 
uh, to see how it looks. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna actually now continue to um, create another colorway to show you how this would look using prints. So I'm going to click on here and rather than choosing a solid this time, I'm going to go to my print and then I already have some existing prints that uh, I've imported to my account. Okay. You can also import a uh, new fabric if uh, by clicking onto this button. So you could uh, upload images directly from your computer. Uh, or you can copy and paste the URL of any image you find on the internet. Uh, or you could import fabric directly from one of these fabric stores. So I'm just going to choose Lamb and Loom and maybe choose like Coral. And I'm going to just click on some of these uh, to audition it. And, uh, and what's great about doing it like this is that you can see how it will look um, before you actually buy the fabric. So I'm going to sit, close this off and these are the corals that I've just uh, downloaded, I mean imported. Uh, I'm going to see how, I think I need to scale this up a little, okay, there you go. And now I'm going to have to um, I'm going to try to find different cut, um, different shades of that complement the print over there. So it was like a light pink and then some kind of grayish blue and then maybe like a white. Right. All right. So I'm really happy with this and now I'm going to download the image. And you'll also notice that there's a buy button uh, beside this uh, fabric right here and I'm going to click it and I can buy it directly from the fabric store right here okay I can download the image I like this color combination but I'm just kind of curious to see it how this print would look if it was like uh, swapped out with one of these or kind of in different positions. So I'm going to clone this and I'm going to call this prints and maybe uh, shuffled. And now I'm going to shuffle this. This is really interesting and I'm going to toggle back and forth. I actually like it. I think this one had too much blue in it and I think this one works much better. So um, so that's what the shuffle does. The shuffle basically, uh, um, it doesn't introduce any colors or prints, new prints or new solids. It just shuffles the existing colors that you have over here. And so this last feature that I'll talk about is the ability to control uh, what palettes, uh, where the colors are coming from when you click on the color randomization. So right now when you click onto the color randomization, it automatically pulls uh, swatches from the Kona palette. Now if I want to change that to uh, pull from the Free Spirit, I could just select that and you'll see that it's now going to pull from the Free Spirit. So now I'm going to create a new uh, colorway. I'm going to call this Free uh, Spirit. And now I'm going to randomize it. And you'll notice that I um, actually have to change this to a solid, sorry, because so now that it's a solid, when I click here, it's going to randomly uh, put a solid in here as well. Uh, this is interesting. Let me see if I can shuffle that. No, and that's pretty interesting too over here. Um, there's actually duplicates over here, so I don't want duplicates when it comes. So I'm, there's a, a feature over here where you could uh, prevent duplications. Okay, so now I'm going to close this off. I'm going to click this again. And this time it will guarantee that there will never be any duplicates over here. And this is actually really interesting here. I think I'm going to change this to maybe like a brighter and done. Yep. Yeah. 
I think this pretty much covers all the basic and advanced features of, um, of the coloring pages. So whether you're somebody looking to buy a uh, pattern uh, using the coloring pages or a tester for the designer, I think pre-quilt is a great way to experiment with uh, colors um, so that way you could uh, be more confident before you go and buy the fabric. So if you have any questions, uh, let us know or any suggestions for future videos, uh, write them in the comments and we'd be happy to uh, get back to you. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.